Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. A recent study or a study presented at this ASH from an international study group assessed the activity and the clinical activity of blinatumumab, which is a bispecific antibody against uh, CD19 and CD3 in the MRD setting in patients with complete remission after chemotherapy. So what we're talking about it, we're coming, we're coming to an age where we're treating actually molecular or we're treating persistent disease based on high sensitive molecular assays, similar or comparable to CML or chronic myeloid leukemia, where we monitor and check the BCRA will transcript and accordingly adjust our therapies. And I think it's very exciting these days because now we have the first drug available um, that can give us or can convert MRD positive disease into MRD negative disease. In most of the uh, treatment protocols, we do measure MRD at baseline or after cycle number one, after cycle number two, to see an appropriate decrease in MRD levels. So there are certain milestone, milestones depending on the protocol that tell us how good and how deep the response is. So the recent study or the study that's presented at this ASH now is uh, using Blina tumor map in patients that have achieved a CR, complete remission, but were MRD positive. Those patients received uh, Blina tumor map for one to three cycles and the outcome uh, was measured. In that study, importantly, a large fraction or proportion of patients were able to convert to MRD negative disease. In patients who had achieved an MRD negative disease after the first cycle of treatment had an overall survival of 40 months or longer. If it took two or three cycles to achieve MRD positive disease, the outcome and the overall survival was shorter as expected. Important for that study is also that the re re relapse free survival was in the range of 11 to 24 months, or slightly higher. I think other important factors to mention is that the majority, three quarters or more of the patients actually did go on to receive a hem hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. That's important because as of today, an allogeneic stem cell transplantation is the only curative approach for many patients with, with ALL. I think it's also important to mention that the duration of remission in those patients who had an MRD negative state after the first cycle was not reached. This tells me and this tells us that using Blina tumor map in patients with MRD positive disease can convert a large proportion of patients into MRD negative disease and those patients that don't go to a transplant still can have a prolonged um, disease remission and, clearly so, and, and thereby clearly have a clinical benefit. Blina tumor map is a biospecific antibody that attracts CD3 T positive T cells to CD19 positive leukemia cells. Once those two cells are clo physically close to its, each other, T cells are activated and essentially start killing leukemia cells. So some of the side effects that can be, be seen with Blina tumor map are um, allergic reactions, uh, fevers, and an uncommon side effect, which we quite don't under understand, are neurological side effects or neurological toxicities. These include, or in the extreme scenario, there were a few patients that suffered seizures during the initial um, phase one and phase two trials of blinatumumab. In the large study I mentioned earlier about blinatumumab and MRD positive disease, the majority of patients, or the, the most frequent side effect were neurological side effects up to 30% of the patients had tremors and some other logical side effects. Outside of a clinical trial, we have used splenotumumab now several times in, in our inpatient leukemia service. And we had mixed responses and mixed results. So the one question, would I use it in most patients? In appropriate patients, I would use it if they have failed one or two prior therapies or salvage therapies. I, we usually don't have a, an age limit of not treating patients. In the trials, up to 10 to 50 percent of the patients were above the age of 60 or 65. So it is also tolerated in older in an older patient population. So I think age is not necessarily, or it's not an exclusion against using blinatumumab. So we have used in our in older patients as well as in younger patients. 
B natumumab is active in a pH negative ALL, but it also has activity in pH positive ALL. So we have used it, I've used it in both, off study, I've used it in both patients, po patient population. Younger patients, um, I can give you, we have patients the age of 22 that was refractory or to induction and the first salvage and we treated her with B natumumab, she's doing well and she went to transplant. Another patient in early 40s, unfortunately had a response that was transient for two or three cycles and then relapsed. And, uh, but this, this patient had a very, probably had a B-serable like, um, B-serable negative like ALL and um, we were not able to salvage this patient. Another patient about the age of 60 is currently in treatment is doing very well. So my experience is, is it's good. Most patients in the hospital, uh, or most patients tolerate it very well and I have not seen any major side effects so far in the patients we treated. I think it also depends on the blast or the leukemic burden at, at baseline of the patient. And now that we use it earlier and earlier on even patients with MRD, I think the side effects, maybe well, I would speculate the side effects are somewhat lower than in patients with a high blast burden. We'll see this more in the clinical practice. And talking to colleagues in, in, in the community, um, they have used it as well, and their experience is, is favorable so far. Given the neurological side effects of Brinatumumab, including seizures in a few percentage of the patients, I would be careful for patients with prior seizure history or any severe neurological side effects.